So to find the molecular geometry for H2O2, we first need to look at the Lewis structure. When we do so, it looks like it's kind of a straight line, but we have to remember valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. And that's that these atoms on the end, the hydrogens, and these valence shell electron pairs that are unbonded are going to spread out to be as far away from each other as possible. When we do that, we're not going to have a straight line anymore. Let's look at that in three dimensions. Here, the red, those are the oxygens, and the white are the hydrogens. And you can see that those red dots on the oxygens, those are the lone pairs. So when we take a look at this, we can see that everything's kind of spread out as far as it can be from each other while still retaining those chemical bonds. This might be a little bit difficult for us to visualize, so we can use something called the AXN notation to find the molecular geometry or shape for H2O2. Let's focus on the oxygen on the left and figure out its molecular geometry. The oxygen on the right will be the same since they're symmetrical. So A, that's the oxygen we're dealing with. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that oxygen. We have the hydrogen and then the oxygen on the other side, so that's two. And N, that's the number of non-bonded electron pairs. On that oxygen, we have two non-bonded electron pairs, so we'll put a two right here. So we end up with AX2N2. We could have memorized that this is a bent geometry, or we can look it up on a table if that's available to us. So going down our table, we're looking for AX2N2. So AX3, AX2N, and here we go, AX2N2. This tells us that H2O2, with respect to that oxygen, has a bent molecular geometry and a bond angle of 109.5. Going back to our three-dimensional structure, we can see that it is a bent molecular geometry, and the bond angle right here is 109.5 degrees. Since these two oxygens are symmetrical, this here will also be 109.5 degrees. So that's the molecular geometry for H2O2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.